all right guys welcome back to this brand new series in this series i will look at all the selection tools in photoshop and in the series we will be looking at the lasso tools in photoshop in this particular video so if you haven't subscribed to this channel you are missing out if you subscribe you will be the first person to get notified when other selection videos come out so let's go ahead and get started So we have an image right here on the screen which we are going to remove the background okay so but first before we actually begin let me explain you what the lasso tool is and all the important settings you need to know when using these tools so I have an untitled document which I'm going to switch to right here and you can see that the shortcut to access the lasso tool is L if you click and hold for a moment you can see that we have three lasso tools in total the lasso tool itself which is the freeform lasso tool the polygonal and the magnetic lasso tools why do they share the same shortcut that is because if you have the first lasso tool selected you can always use the shift key and then press the l key to cycle to the other tools notice that if i have the lasso tool selected we have different options here on the options bar we can do things like add a new selection after adding a new selection, we can add to the selection, subtract, and then intersect selection. Let us see exactly how it happens. So right now, I have the freeform lasso tool. With this tool, I can just click and draw freeform on the screen like so. That will create a selection, of course. But if I need to add to this existing selection, I can now go to this other second tool, which says add to selection. A keyboard shortcut you can use to access this feature is the shift key on the keyboard. So if I press the shift key, notice that we now have a plus sign below the lasso tool. The plus sign tells you that you are going to add to the existing selection. So if I were to click here and draw like so, we will add to that existing selection. All right. Nice. Then the third option here means subtract from selection. Again, there is also a keyboard shortcut for it. We can now press the alt key if you are on Windows or the options key if you are on the Mac. And once you have the Alt or Option key pressed, we can now click on this portion like so to draw. And once we release, that portion will be cut out or it will be subtracted from that selection. Just like so. And then the third option here means you should intersect the selection. Alright? And there is also a keyboard shortcut. This time, we combine the Shift key and the Alt or Option key. So if I press the Shift together with the Alt or the Option key, I will be able to click all around. I have a reason why I trace the way I did on the screen. Notice that what will be allowed on the screen is everything that is within the new selection. Everything that is outside that selection will be removed. That is the meaning of intersection. It's going to intersect the new selection. So let's let the mouse down and you'll see that everything that is within that selection I created is left and everything that was outside the selection is gone so these same techniques they apply for all these lasso tools right here not only the lasso tools but we can also apply these same techniques when using other selection tools as I'll explain in upcoming movies so please subscribe to this channel to stay up to date so let us switch back to the magnetic lasso tool because I find this tool very interesting we have other settings right here because you know the options bar in Photoshop is very context sensitive. So I think since there is no image here on the screen, I cannot be able to explain. So I'm going to switch to the original document which we will be working on right here. So with this tool, I just have to click once on the screen, okay? And it follows my mouse and use artificial intelligence to carefully trace the image. So I'll just move up like this. I am not clicking, I'm not doing anything, I'm just moving the mouse. You can see that the tool automatically adds the point where it thinks it is necessary. If I move to this other section, the same thing happens. It tries to trace that path as I move along, just like so. So that is how the magnetic lasso tool works. To end this tool, you can just press the escape key. Now what can we do with the polygonal lasso tool? It helps you to draw polygonal shapes, alright? So if you hold the shift key right now, I can be able to draw horizontal and vertical lines. And when I'm done, I can click to connect that selection just like so. And again, we can add, subtract, and intersect this same selection using the techniques I explained previously. So I'll again press Ctrl D to select everything. And then I'll switch to the freeform lasso tool. 
okay it's free form so it helps you to draw freely you click and just drag on the screen to draw just like so all right then notice that if you have an active selection on the screen if you move to that selection you have a white arrow which tells you that you can be able to move that selection to any portion on the screen just like so my preferred way of working is to select the polygonal lasso tool and let us say i intend to create smooth lines okay if there are straight lines i will just click no big deal but then if i need to draw in free form what i'll do is to hold the alt or the option key first after you hold down the alt or option key you can now press with the mouse to begin to draw free form just like so and then if you are done you release the mouse release the alt key and then you'll be back to the polygonal lasso tool just like that so i find this little shortcut very very useful and flexible enough when using this tool in photoshop so what we are going to do now is to switch to this photo and actually put these tools in practice so i'm going to make sure my polygonal lasso tool is selected and i'll start tracing all around this image i will zoom into a comfortable portion like this shoe right here and then i'll just click to start tracing around notice that if you ever place a point outside you can always use the backspace key or the delete key if you're using the mac computer to go back okay so you can press the backspace key and it will take you back to the steps you were previously all right so this particular portion here looks like it is going to be drawn free form so i'm going to hold the alt key and then i'll just click somewhere like here and then try to trace all around like so okay guys that looks nice and i'll continue tracing the image notice that if you need to go to the top you can just move your mouse there and then the tool is intelligent enough to move the screen along with you very useful and guys for demonstrative videos like this I might not be very precise because I need to speed up. I don't want you to painly watch me trace all around this image. Okay, so there are portions of the video where I will actually have to speed up a little to catch up on time. All right, this particular portion of the hair looks like it needs to be drawn free form so you can clearly see that we are missing some details here so i'm going to press the backspace key to go back several times until somewhere around here and i'll just hold the alt or the option key and then i'll click to draw here free form just like so because hair after all is not always perfect so right now i'm still drawing free form and you can see the results are outstanding I think you can begin to see that in the earring section right here the artificial tools in photoshop will find it really difficult to detect this earring from the background it is just immersive so there are times where you actually have to be the one to do the work manually okay guys that's just the nature of photoshop sometimes you do it automatically and other times you do it manually but whichever method works best for you the only thing is it should help you to achieve your desired goal on the project you are working on. And right at this point, I think we have to draw in freeform mode. So I'll hold the Alt key and then I will click somewhere like here to trace that path, I believe. And it's working great. Nice. Here we go. Here you can see we have our selection created. Alright guys. So what is the next thing we have to do? Because if we go ahead and add a max to this image right now, the results will look great. But are they actually great? Let us zoom in to see. You will see we have this detail we completely left out right here. And we also have this particular portion. I don't know if you can see on the screen, but I think there is an empty gap we need to remove right here. Apart from these two problems, everything else looks nice. So what are we going to do? I'm just going to press Ctrl Z or Command Z to undo and have my selection back. 
and the first thing i'll have to do is to save this selection okay because this tool is very troublesome sometimes sometimes you can just mistakenly click and then your selection is gone so to save a selection let's go up here to select and then choose save selection right now i have to give a new name to our selection i'll say selection one just like so and then under the operation i will add it to a new channel and then i'll say okay now this selection is saved even if i disable this selection or i mistakenly click anywhere i can always go to the select menu and then choose load selection to load that particular selection one again so what are we going to do still making sure that the polygonal lasso tool is selected what i'm going to do now is to go to the options bar you notice the options i explained at the beginning of the video this one is what we need subtract from selection all right so i'm going to zoom in and then you can hold the alt key or the option key but i'm going to select from the option bar subtract from selection and then what i will do is i'll just click around this portion to remove it from that existing selection Yay, just like so and then we have this portion here which is left so I'm going to just click there give a click this little guy and boom we are done so right now I think everything looks great and the selection looks nice okay just to let you know anytime you have a selection with these tools if it is not great you can always go to select and then you can choose modify here you can see we can smoothen our selection we can expand the existing selection we can contract if you choose expand it is going to shift the pixels outside and if you choose contract it is going to shift the pixels inside okay so in my case i took some time to manually do the work and i think that for the purpose of this video it is well understood so what i'm going to do now is to go to the layers max icon right here and just click now we have a nice clean looking max added to this image and we can see that it is clearly cut out from that background if we zoom in you can see that we have all those details here which have been removed this particular portion and this particular portion thanks to our ability to use the polygonal lasso tool and set the mode to subtract from selection and carefully trace to remove these portions of the image so what we are going to do next is to go to adjustment layers right here and then we choose solid color Right now it is above everything that is why the whole screen is black but i will just enter some ash values right here i'll enter e7 e7 again e7 yeah just like so to have this off white background and then i'll hit ok i don't actually need the layer mark so i can drag that to the trash bin just like so now since it is standing on top we can't be able to see the layer beneath it so i'm going to drag this color field below the layer and just by doing that we are done guys all right guys you can see that we finally removed the image from that background onto this off-white background okay and i really believe that these are some of the things you'll be doing in photoshop most of the time and here at tmx studio our main objective is to make sure that we teach you photoshop in the most practical way possible so kindly subscribe to this channel if you haven't and thank you for subscribing and i'll see you in future updates see you